welcome to part six. We're now actually going to get around to stretching the pizza just before making it. And here's one we've just made. So I'm going to show you how we've shaped this. So in part one, we mixed the dough. Part two, we kneaded it. Um, then in part three, we did the test just to make sure we'd kneaded it well enough. We then let it prove. Part four, we balled it up, put it in our box here to prove again. Then in part five, we, we prepared our toppings. Uh, and now we're going to actually stretch the pizza. You can see our pizza's good to go. Nice and bubbly, we've made one already. Um, so we're going to use this, use the spatula to get plenty of flour on around the edges of the dough. So I'm going to take this one out here. And plenty of flour up at the front. That's going to help us to free it from the container. And I've just got a shallow bowl here with uh, some of our zero zero in. And that's handy for grabbing the flour. And then also I'm going to drop it in there when I get it out. So I'm going to free the edges first. Just make sure our dough is not stuck to the box or to any of the dough balls near it. Then we're going to come in underneath. Push all this flour to the back to free it off. You can see it's moving now. And then turn it over and drop it straight into there. Don't forget to cover your box so your dough balls don't dry out. So now we're going to coat it nicely. Never touch the edges. We want to be touching the middle here. We're pushing it down, making sure it's nicely coated with flour. Then out onto the side. So yeah, we never touch the edges here because we want to keep this air in here for a nice Neapolitan style. And then what we're going to do with our hand is we're going to create this round shape with our, by overlapping our fingers. So if we have our hands like that and press down, you can see how it creates this zigzag shape. What we want is the overlapping fingers like this, the index fingers, which creates a nice round shape like this. And then we can just use that to press the air from the middle up to the edge. And we can turn it and just keep going like this. So we're looking to create a nice round shape and get as much of the air as possible from the middle of this dough ball up into the edges. So you get a nice light crust with a really thin base. And once we've got this shape established, we can start stretching. So from here, what we're going to do is with one hand, we're going to hold it up to the crust, but not on it. And then with this hand, we're going to come underneath. Again, don't touch the crust with our thumb inside. We're going to stretch a little bit very lightly and then flip it onto our hand and rotate. So we're pressing down with this hand, light stretch and turn, light stretch and turn. And really that's as thin as you want to go. You don't want to go too thin or it can or it can rip. So now we're going to add our tomato. I've got like a soup spoon sized spoon. I go for three three scoops in the middle, not heaped scoops. And then without pressing down, because we don't want to make the dough stick to the side, we're just going to lightly move the spoon around from the centre to the edges, creating a nice even layer of tomato. And then from here, we're going to add our, well actually most people here would add the mozzarella, but if we're adding basil, I like to add the basil first, and that way it just gives it a little bit of protection with the mozzarella on top, um, and just prevents it from burning in the oven, otherwise you get a bit of a bitter taste. So I add that, and we're going to add our mozzarella. And we can add a little bit of parmesan. We can add it before or after. Add a little bit now. Any bits there, we can just pick those off. Small drizzle of olive oil from the middle. A little sprinkle of black pepper. Now we're going to load it onto our peel. So I've got um, quite a large peel here, which is really handy. Um, I've got the long handle. I'm using this in an uni pizza oven, so this is nice. Gives me a little bit more control with the two hands. But you can get shorter ones if you're just doing this in your home oven. Uh, it might be just as well to get one of those. Now the easiest way to load this on is to have someone hold it for you, and then you can use two hands to drag it on. Um, but I'll just show you a way I like to do with uh, one hand. I'll first come under without grabbing the dough. I'm just kind of resting my hands under and then sliding it away which gives me room to get my peel on here and it also frees the pizza from the side then with one hand I drag it on 
and then when it's on the peel, as we stretch it, the pizza, as we drag it on, the pizza stretches again, which is the classic Neapolitan way to do it. And stretch the pizza all the way up to the edges, and then we're good to go in the oven. Mm.